Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to be talking about The Ordinary's 100% organic cold pressed rosehip seed oil. The oil comes from the hip of the Rosa Canina rosebush, which is mainly found in Chile and Argentina. And according to The Ordinary, this is the oil for you if you're looking for a facial oil that will help to reduce the signs of aging, or if you want help with any texture irregularities, or if you just want a more even complexion. It contains linoleic and linolenic acid, which are fatty acids that help to strengthen the skin cell walls, nourish the skin, and improve moisture levels. It also contains provitamin A, which targets signs of photoaging. This 30 ml bottle retails for $9.90 Canadian, and I will add that it does have quite a pungent smell, but according to The Ordinary, that's not an indication that it's gone bad or anything. That's just how it smells because it's natural. So just keep that in mind. It smells a little bit strange. It's a facial oil, so it's really easy to use, and I would use it one of two ways. The first way I would use it is at the very end of my nighttime skincare routine as an occlusive. So after I wash my face, I apply an essence, whatever serum I'm using that evening, followed by a moisturizer. Then to seal everything in, I take two or three drops of the facial oil all over my face to seal in all of those skincare products. The second way I would use it is instead of using it as the last layer in my evening skincare routine, I would add two or three drops to my moisturizer, mix them together, then apply the mixture to my skin. And this is the method I would use if I wanted to sport a no foundation look, but I still wanted my skin to look really healthy and glowy and fresh. As for my experience with it, I would say that I do like this oil, but it didn't do as much as I hoped it would do for my skin. I did notice a difference in the softness of my skin, and it does feel very nourishing. And since I do have combination skin, I did also notice that it helped to balance the amount of oil that my skin produced. So my T-zone was less oily, and I have a feeling that I will appreciate this product more during the summer months when my skin gets really oily. But I was most excited about the anti-aging benefits because I wanted to get rid of some small fine lines that I have around my mouth and a few that I have on my forehead. I know you guys can't see it, but I can see it. It's definitely there. And in terms of anti-aging, it didn't really deliver on those claims. So for me, this would be a 7 out of 10 product. It's a pretty good facial oil, but I'm still going to keep trying other facial oils and yeah, keep looking until I find one that I like enough to keep buying and keep using in my skincare routines. But I do think that it's worth trying out for yourself because one of my sisters has combination acne prone skin and she really likes it. She said it helped a lot with acne scarring as in it reduced the pigmentation of acne scars. She also said it was very moisturizing and made her skin feel super soft. And she said that it did help to smoothen out any rough or textured areas on her face. When I asked her to rate this, she actually gave it an 8 out of 10. So it's definitely one of those products that will work differently for everybody. And if you've had your eye on it, I do think that it's worth giving a shot. Hey guys, we've come to the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're all healthy and staying safe, doing your part to keep yourself as well as the people around you safe by self-isolating as much as you can. If you have any questions or comments about anything I talked about in this video, go ahead and leave them down below. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to me if you haven't already, and I will see you guys again in my next one. Bye!